Welcome to Black is with Otero. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And um, this is a weekend, afternoon, weekday, whatever time you're watching this, afternoon check-in. So, basically, I'm about to pull some cards. I'm about to get into your business. I'm about to expose the things that you need to know. And, um, yeah, let's see what comes out for you. But before I do that, you know what I gotta do. <laughs> gotta come to your prayer and that you open up my third eye so that I can give the collective the afternoon messages that they need to know for their highest good. I also ask that any energies that are not mine or any entities that may be lingering around me, send them back to hell. Amen. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection, baby. Mm. What's going on this afternoon? I'm being told to clarify before I even start. Basically, let's just see why God wants me to pull this. First, I look at the bottom of the, of the deck, and it says love spell. You have been, been bewitched. Somebody is probably doing love magic on you to try to keep you bound to them, to try to stir up some type of feelings for like that you have. Or used to have they want you to feel that way again they basically are trying to trick fate this person who is doing this to you is a liar be careful somebody is sneaky they know that you don't want them for a reason so they're playing with devil's magic I'm hearing devil's magic voodoo hoodoo like literal they're trying to change the fate of you all's relationship this may be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this is somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. That's why it's distance. It may be because this person, you or your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. This person, what I got when I first got this card, distance. This person is an earth sign. Or I'm also hearing a fire sign because you see how this globe is on fire. It's just lighting up. It gives me the sun energy. So maybe a leo sagittarius whatever but they are a liar so they've hit they've held a lot of things from you which is why you decide to leave this person alone so they have resulted into dark magic to basically get you back but when i saw distance it's because this person is probably you haven't talked to them in a while they may live at a distance from you or you just are distant to this person and they feel it so that is why they're doing magic so that you can come back to them so that they can feel your love again <sighs> not they doing magic on you what a no is a no <laughs> they did you dirty they did something that caused you to not want to be with them so they should just suck it up and find someone else they missed out on an opportunity with you collective so nobody feels sorry for them but them and most likely their friend group because you know everybody loves to act like the victim within their friend group but they don't never tell the truth they don't never tell the whole truth of why somebody is done with them most likely they haven't told people why you're done with them they want the pats on the back and the oh i hope it gets better or pity fucks Yeah. Give me some messages for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware and know of? What does the collective need to be aware of and know of? That this, what I tell you, pity, pity screws. A liar. They were a major H O E. Like, that is why you decided to leave this person alone. Because you saw, and then you also saw this person for who they were, mask off. You saw them for the scum bucket that they were. <laughs> They're the ones who self-sabotaged the relationship by lying to you. But this person is also going to try to come in with a confession of love or maybe even try to tell you the truth. But God is telling you, since this person is a liar, <laughs> See them as the enemy. They're a snake. This person is a loser. 
a literal loser. And um, all they are is a liar, a losing, lying. And they feel so, they feel lost without you. They feel like a loser for losing you. And this person will not stop lying. So this is a, probably a person that is a, um, what do they call them? A pathological liar or, a, or just a, one of those people who just lie just to lie. Just lie just to lie. And then that, our favorite net is in the video again. Once I start talking about this liar or this person that's a HOE, uh, y'all, at this point, I'm feeling like spiritual attack. You may be going through spiritual attacks. This person is, our, we already saw that they were doing love magic on you. But this person has nothing to offer you. They're lying. They're opportunist. They're a player. Unstable, codependent, and needy. Most likely, since this person is codependent, they use this to use people. And they're a player, an opportunist, what I tell you. Most likely a hobosexual. Not the type of person to whine and die on you. Time waster. And then they be doing things in secret. But losing you? Hmm. <laughs> Cause this person so much pain to the point where they standing in the rain screaming why and God is saying your best bet was to stay solo to catch flights not feelings because this person is a type to not take any accountability they don't never face their problems they just run from it or sweep it underneath the rug and baby you are better than that the same person wants your attention, but they're currently going through legal issues. Marriage, divorce, traffic tickets, fraud, maybe going to jail. You know, all the legal issues you can think of, they may go through it. I'm talking to somebody who may be slim, petite, or thick, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're an empath. That's why you realized who this person was. You saw and felt who this person was. And you were like, mm-mm. I just don't think we're equally yoked. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Give me some more messages for the collective. What do they need to be a no? What do they need to know and be aware of? I kept hearing, I almost said it needs to be a no. It needs to be a no. You know who this person is. The mask has been ripped off of this person. We saw they were a liar in the clarifications. We saw that they're going to try to come in with a little confession, a little, you know, would sweep under the rug. But God is telling you, no. No matter how good the offer may sound, this person is a manipulator. Oh. Oop, oop, oop. And they in a situation ship. And they such a thought. They such a HOE that they're going to continue to hide their options from you. Coming in, making it seem like, oh, I just want you. Well, what about Keisha or Brandon? This person don't want you to cut them off for good, but they don't even understand that you have. And if you haven't, they don't want you to cut them off. But God is telling you, I'm telling you, cut this person off, baby. Cut this person off. And if you have, losing you killed them. What I tell you? They feel like a loser for losing you. A big old L. Hmm. Hmm. Walk away from this connection, especially if it's stressing you. Because abundance is coming to you. You have an admirer somewhere. And this person is just not for you. Or this may be your first name or their first name or somebody's last name. But baby, all I can see in this card is abundance. You are being rewarded for seeing this as a lesson and moving on. Ooh, what I, what I say? Learn the lesson so the same cycle doesn't come back and repeat itself. You learned the lesson and you walked away. And this person was sitting there looking stupid. 
never thinking that you will have walked away from them. They thought they had so much control over you. <laughs> now they know. Y'all, I have to kill, I have to find a way to get this little gnat because at this point I feel like it's a pet. <laughs> it's literally a pet at this point. A codependent pet. But anyway, that is that is a message for somebody. Somebody is so codependent, like so needy, just all over the place. Can't sit down, always in somebody's face, needing some attention. A HOE. But you make this person weak, very weak. They're obsessed and addicted to you. And if you don't believe me, they're obsessed and addicted to you. <laughs> Let's get some more. Give me some more messages for Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, but what I really feel like is the reason why I want to say Capricorn so bad is because you have gotten enough of this person. This person has pushed you into your purpose, pushed you into your bag. Baby, it's bag season. Give me some more messages for the collective. Give me some more messages for the collective. Give me some. Uh, I, 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 I already hear. Stop asking me when you got it on the table. <laughs> You had people in your life that wanted to try to block your light. And you thought this person was your twin flame, one soul, which they were. But they had a lot of karmic energy in them that they chose to not change. They chose to not change. So they got demoted. Demoted right on out of your life. And you saw them for a, a not, some of y'all for a coon. Mm. But anyway, for a clown or a fool. God is saying this person is a clown and a fool. And for some of y'all, this person is going to try to come and reach out to you with a sad story. <laughs> Don't let this person make you feel bound to them or sorry for them. For them, They may try to come in and act like y'all are supposed to be together when they couldn't get it right. See, they couldn't get it right. And maybe something ain't right about this person. But we know... They're a big old HOE, a big old roach, a water bug. And they're extremely nervous to contact you because they know that you see them for who they really are. They know that they missed out on a gift from God and they want to reach out to try to make up with you. Uh-uh. 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 This person is in sexual energy. That's why I saw at the bottom of this deck. And I couldn't understand. I'm like, why do I keep on getting this energy of somebody trying to trap you, collective? Spiritual burp. Like, somebody is literally going to come into your life, have sex with you, this past person. Because they can't get enough of the taste of your punani or your mandingo. But I'm talking to my women. Um, my nipples are itching. This is, this is the truth. This person is going to try to get you pregnant. So have you a plan B on standby. They, they want to end your new beginnings. And they still not going to tell you about all the third parties that you're competing against. This person is not going to put you first. They're going to put you second. And you deserve to be put first. This person hit on women. This could be abuse or this person is just such a such a thought like all they do is talk to people they need people's attention these nets i feel like at this point is the representation of the energies that i have been channeling these needy attention seeking people the people of your past all they do is be up in somebody's face get out of here trash trash Lose control of the situation. They lost control of their life. They lost control of you. And they lose control of their third party. They can't even control people no more. You done said your final goodbye to this person. This person has been doing magic on you because they know that you are done with them. They know that this was the last straw. And what they got to do? A little, <laughs> A little hoodoo voodoo spell. I'm trying to tell you. Your beauty entraps people, and it, it has entrapped this person. That is why they're so codependent on your energy, because they find you attractive. They find you 
to be everything they ever wanted, but they can't seem to stay out somebody else's face. This person is in spiritual jail, or they may just be going to jail. This person also has an STD. Even a spiritual STD. A lot of demons reside in this person because they've been doing a lot of dark magic, doing a lot of dark things that you don't know about. This person cannot offer you true love, my love. And that's what you deserve. Real intentions, true intentions, healthy love. This person can't give you that. They can't give you that. And then they're haunted by their dark ways. I uh, yeah. Cause what? I be I be hitting the hammer on the nail. This person's attention seeker. Just like the net, all up in my face. All up in my reading, trying to be seen. At this point, shout out to the shout out to the net. Because I told you, this person is an attention seeker in the worst way. Always up in somebody's face. Always needed validation from the next person. You need to get the validation from your person that you're with, not from outside sources, you dummy. This person is also married. That's one thing they haven't told you or that you already found out and also bring it to their attention is the reason why you're not talking to this person no more. And they're still, and they're still married. Don't let this person come lie to you. Oh, baby, I left the karmic alone. I left that other person alone. I want to choose you. It's a cap. <laughs> Remember, this person is an attention seeker in the worst way. They will put you in a third party because it makes them feel good about themselves. It honestly makes this person feel good about themselves to have so many options. That means they're insecure and they have a lot of trauma. A dirty, insecure, a dirty, insecure roach. So God is saying, separate the real from the posers because baby, this person's a poser. Their whole life is a lie. Everything they ever told you was a lie. What you think their life is like is a lie. But God is saying change is coming. And I'm also hearing for those who want their ex back, they may just be a change, but uh, a dumbass is gonna be sitting there crying. Okay, and I mean that with all disrespect because you know, like I've taught you, the past should be the past. They come with nothing but trash and baggage, more lies and more manipulation. So if you sitting there on the sitting there waiting with your arms out for this person, you're a fool because this person is broke broken hearted, broken spirited. This person is false. They have nothing to offer you. They have not changed in the slightest. They've just changed how to come and manipulate you. And God is saying, maybe they may have changed one thing about them. And that just may be how to lie better. Let's get some of my messages for the collective. Because they love playing on my top when it comes to their past person. They love trying to go back to this dusty past person. But you know what? We're not finna allow that, God. We finna expose this person for not only who they are, but their intentions. So that the collective gets it. The collective needs to get it, God. Expose what they need to understand. This person is wearing a false mask. They are not your true love it ended because it was in divine timing it was supposed to end this person has a hidden family but yet they are obsessed with you the real you you are the rich empress or emperor you are the prize you are is receiving sudden wealth and you are most likely have already received your sudden wealth you are the prize you're receiving blessings 
something is all an illusion. This person is an illusion. Spiritual burp. A lot can happen in 48 hours, my love. So get to it. That means get up off that fat ass of yours. Get up off that big juicy rump of yours and start working towards your goals. Because we already seen what you're going to become. I miss how happy you made me. Energy vampire. This person was a ghoster. They had no heart. God is saying, ghost them. Do not invest your heart or your time in this person. They do not want you to find love. This person is selfish, narcissistic. This person indulges in threesomes. Most likely is with somebody who wouldn't mind screwing on you. And let go of that past hurt, baby. Heal from everything you have been through. Because what? You are better than that. You are better than the situations you have been put through. You are better than the relationships that you have allowed yourself to be in. You are better than this person and you're better than the person that they chose over you. Let's say it for the people in the back. Recap. This person is not your true love, yet they are obsessed with you. This person is in spiritual jail because they have been doing black magic on you. They most likely want to get you pregnant or give you an STD, okay? This person is not your twin flame. Give it up. This person is going to try to come back and make up with you. Give it up. Send them on their way. They're also in a situationship. This person is also married. Or in a heavenly, like a, a heavy, like a, like a, a serious commitment with somebody else. Yet they are an attention seeker. They're always in the next person's face. So it is not just the person that they're with. They're also with a lot of other people. See, y'all done got me. Sometimes I got to be big mommy on y'all because I know that most of my soul tribe has a big heart like me but you need to get to the point where i'm at where i learn how to use my intuition my discernment and also put a guard around my heart so that only people who are deserving can be let in the gate stop causing your own self heartbreak because you keep on trying to make things right with people who are not right for you Well, let's get you some hidden truths. I'm sorry if I had to be so mean, but you know, this person can't stop thinking about you because I, we saw that this person was upset, obsessed with you and they're upset with you that you decide to keep on moving. This part, they, they know that they're not, they, this person knows that you need to let them go, that they need to let you go, but yet they're going to try to come back in with some type of offer that is false. What is the hidden truth about this situation? What is the hidden truth about this situation? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. That's you, collective. It was hard to let this person go. But for some of y'all, y'all were like, mm, it's not it. But the ones who were so in love with this person, it was hard to let them go because this person felt like your true love. They acted like a twin flame a soulmate which they were but they were too they were too far gone in karmic energy yet they think about you all the time give me some hidden truths about the situation like they think about you all the time give me some messages about this situation give me some hidden truth this person is sitting around waiting on a sign from you because they love you you better not reach out to this person. You want an STD? <laughs> you want a baby? You want a, another heartbreak? You want to be in competition, collective? You like crying, collective? You like feeling stupid, collective? 
I don't think you do. This person knows that they use you as a distraction from their pain. And God is also telling you as well as they also know. And you know for the third, fourth time that y'all need to let each other go. This person is not meant to be with you on this ride. They're not meant to come with you. No matter if they want to feel the same way again, they want to feel your love again. They want to be in a relationship and more than friends. I don't care what they want. Leave this person behind because all they're going to do and all they have done was lie to you. Once a liar, always a liar. <sighs> but let's get you some love messages. Let's see what's going to come out. Let's see what's going to come out. What does the collective need to know in love? What does the collective need to know in love? What does the collective need to know in love? Love. 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 Oh, we got a couple. Oh, you may just end up finding. Oh, I just almost said it. You may just be entering into new love. And what does it say? New love. Y'all, kiss my booty cheeks because I be in it. I be tap, tap, tap in. But anyway, your new love is coming and it's going to ascend to marriage. This is going to be the real deal like mm. so let go of your control issues and allow yourself to go with the flow don't be so controlling where you're looking at this person with the side eye like mm. you may just be like all the rest calm down it is healthy to have your guard up but don't have it up so far where you overthink a family situation the real deal that is literally protected by your guardian angels and then look at them looking at you like look chill you're gonna have to chill when it comes to this new love okay okay and i'm also seeing attraction this person from the past these people from the past they're attracted to your energy attracted to your beauty but God is saying, stay separated. Do not allow these people back in because they are coming in with deception, with the false promise of, oh, baby, oh, baby, I want to try again. I'm the one for you. Don't get no, don't be with nobody else but me. Oh, baby, I'm your true love and I want to heal the situation. You know, I'm your soulmate. But baby, it's red flags. And God has said, mm, spiritual birth. Forgive these people, forget these people, and learn from the lesson. And also release your ex. Love yourself first. Because pouring that love into yourself is attracting the new love that's going to eventually end in a marriage that's going to have these people sick. Sick. So let go of your control issues. But also, let go of your ex. Yes, <laughs> I thank y'all so much for watching and I am currently, you know, setting up a members, you know, what is it? A members like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like perks or whatever. So like people who've been here with me for a while, you will be able to be noticed if you comment and you know, you remember you're the first person I comment back to, you know, I show love to period. I think the price is going to be $9.99, so it's going to be basically completion. You have completed the steps to be in my soul tribe. But anyway, I'm glad that you came to watch. And I thank all the people who have supported me within, like, you know, donations and all. I love y'all so much because it always goes towards the channel, period. But um, if you haven't heard it today, I love you. And I hope you're ready to drop the control issues and bring in the real deal period and uh for all the people who support me it's big love over here heartbeats for you here you, you, you know you know you know but anyway i hope y'all have a good night and y'all enjoyed the message bye
Mwah.